Welcome to Indiana Outdoor Adventures. I'm Troy McCormick and we've got two hunts for you today. One of them is a late season muzzleloader hunt submitted by one of our viewers. But the first one we've got is a turkey hunt with the cutest little turkey hunter you've ever seen. Little Danielle comes with her father from Alabama through a program called Hope for the Warrior. The hunt was offered by the Switzerland County uh, chapter of the NWTF, the National Wild Turkey Federation. And together they offered this hunt and uh, Daniel's father, a serviceman in the military, uh, won the competition or won the contest and got to come to Southern Indiana to uh, hunt for Indiana turkeys. What's your name? Danielle. Danielle what? D Victoria Danielle Lowry. And Danielle, where are you from? Kentucky. No, you're not. We used to, we used to live in Kentucky. We live in what state now? Alabama. 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 How old are you? Seven? Are you sure? You know when your birthday is? December 18th. That's my real birthday and um, my party's on the 15th. <laughs> Alright. Who's that guy standing beside you? My daddy. Your daddy? What's his name? Dan Joseph Daniel Lowry. <laughs> is that where you got your name at? Yep. Uh-huh. It I is? Was named after my daddy. Yep. Well, that's was, pretty neat. She was born three weeks before my first diploma. So her whole... And he had, has a brother. Yeah. My, her whole first year, I was I was gone, so I wasn't even around. Where was you deployed to, Joseph? Uh, that Iraq. Iraq. Yep. Oh. Look at that. Ooh. Got you a mossy oak hat. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, what else you got? What is that? That's a shirt. It's a jacket. It's a hoodie. Hey. You got some pants. That was the smallest pants. You got a t-shirt. We could find. How about that? You what? think that's going to fit you? What size is it? They're mediums. They may be a little big on you. We may have to roll them up, but... What does country mean? What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Here, let's put that bag in the bag. Here comes Danielle. Biggest bird today. Danielle, you got anything to say to this camera? She's got hot hands, that's what she got to say. <laughs> <laughs> she's she from Alabama, hot. she's uh, after her first turkey ever. So. You guys ready to get it? Oh yeah. Alright, we're going to get rolling, see if we can't go get a couple birds down. Our guide today is Indiana Outdoor Adventures pro staffer, Jeremy Robinson. And Jeremy has definitely put our young hunter on the birds. They have got some hens. They are in within feet, a couple yards maybe, of the hunting blind. But our hunter is after a long beard. So let's just keep watching and see what happens.
Okay, now we're supposed to be turkey hunting, Jeremy. What's with all these cows? They've got a, uh, a decoy with a string that they can pull to make the decoy move, to make it look like it's alive. But the cow actually stepped and tripped over the string and sent the decoy going crazy. Okay, enough with the hens and enough with the cows. Let's take a break and then we'll come back after our commercials and see how our young hunter Danielle does. Lawrence County, located in the rolling hills of southern Indiana between Indianapolis and Louisville, is one of Indiana's premier outdoor recreational playgrounds. With Spring Mill Park, Blue Spring Caverns, Hoosier National Forest, and numerous rivers, caves, and trails, the natural limestone formations in our area have created a wealth of outdoor experiences. Love to hike, bike, ride, trek, fish, or paddle? Carve out your next adventure here in limestone country. Serving veterans with spinal cord injuries and spinal cord disease since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America works with veterans to ensure that their health care and benefit needs are met, provides assistance with career needs, and offers challenging and rewarding activities. The Kentucky and Indiana chapter of PVA oh. is also proud to provide adaptive sports and activities for its members. Paralyzed Veterans of America depends on the public's generosity to support its programs. Make your donation today and help give back to our nation's paralyzed heroes. Offering basic to advanced obedience training, housebreaking, and behavior modification for your hunting dog or household pet. Shannon Dog Training is your full service training center. We provide pet training, detection training, and kennel facilities. We specialize in detection dogs for narcotics, cell phones, arson, and cadaver dogs used by jails, prisons, and security centers. Shannon Dog Training can provide you with total off-leash control for a dependable working dog or well-behaved pet. Cave Country Canoes, located in the heart of Indiana's cave country, offers a variety of canoe rental trips from half-day outings for beginners to two-day adventures for the more experienced enthusiast. Our canoe trips follow the gently meandering Blue River through the wooded hills of southern Indiana. Abundant wildlife and great fishing opportunities abound. Go to CaveCountryCanoes.com for more information about our canoe and kayak trips. Your next adventure is just a paddle away. The tools may have changed, but the hunt still remains. Native Crossbows offers you exciting new hunting crossbow designs made in the USA by hunters for hunters. With its compact, low-profile design, delivering breathtaking accuracy at 320 and 340 feet per second speeds, these crossbows are further enhanced with auto-engaging safety and anti-dry fire features. You've really not experienced a crossbow until you've shot a native crossbow. Follow Indiana Outdoor Adventures online with Facebook, Twitter, and our website. Stay up to date with our exciting adventures as we're out in the field filming and meeting new people. From news updates and announcements to Twitter posts by co-host Troy McCormick. Why wait until the next season of shows when you can follow us as we're filming them? Join us online to get the most current news on Indiana Outdoor Adventures. Welcome back to Indiana Outdoor Adventures. Now we're out in the woods today hunting with a young lady and her father. They're from Alabama and Danielle is seven years old. <laughs> She's hunting with her dad who's in the army and through a program called Hope for the Warriors, was able to come to Southern Indiana and hunt for a Hoosier gobbler. Now, you just gotta love Danielle, her cute little voice, her peppiness when they got up at five o'clock in the morning uh, to get out in the woods, to go hunting. They spent the morning out in the blind and they saw a lot of hens. They also had a bunch of cows that came in uh, right through the middle of the decoys, uh, provided some interesting video footage and a, a unique experience for the hunters. But this afternoon, Jeremy's taking them back out. They're going to the same spot because he knows there's birds in the area, but this time they're looking for longbeards. And I think they're probably gonna see some. We had this morning had several hens out here. Come back out and give us a shot this afternoon.
There you go. Danielle, that's what you're looking for. A true long bearded gobbler. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. And it looks like they're coming right in to check out the decoys. Jeremy's doing something right with those calls. Okay, take your time, Danielle. Don't shoot both of them at the same time. Let's pick one bird. There you go. Good job, Danielle. Good job, Danielle. Good job, Danielle. Get that face mask off. Give me five. What do you think, Ellen? Danielle just got her very first turkey in yep. southeast Indiana. I don't know. That's it right there, guys. Look at this guy. Where's my earplugs? There's your earplugs. She had her earplugs in because right. they hurt her ears. That's right. What do you think about that? That's fun, ain't it? She's not camera shy at all, is she, Steve? <laughs> That's fun stuff. What do you think about hunting in Indiana? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to get out and see your first bird? That's give me a high five. It. Dad, all give right. me a high five. Yeah. We just took the bird down, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I knew we was going to do it tonight. What did I tell you? That's it. You got the lucky hey, hat. Hey, why'd we kill that bird? <laughs> because we're going to eat it. <laughs> why'd we kill it? Uh, my name is Joseph Lowry. Uh, and my name's um, Danielle Lowry. <laughs> and uh, we're from Alabama. And we got uh, picked through the uh, Hope for the Warriors. Uh, mm -hmm. My wife uh, talked to me one day and said, Hey, do you want to go on a hunt with Danielle? I said, Well, yeah, she's never been hunting, but we can get her ready. So uh, my wife contacted them and, and got it through and, and, and uh, hooked up with Jeremy here that they put this fantastic hunt on. and. Uh, Thanks to the NWTF and uh, Hope for the Warriors, uh, we're out here killing uh, turkeys in Indiana. And uh, it uh, started out pretty good. This morning it got hens all over us and then uh, come back this afternoon and, and, and here comes uh, two big old toms running at us and Danielle was lucky enough to uh, hammer one of them down. So this is her bird here. It's her first bird. It's her first time ever been turkey hunting. So uh, it's... Uh, it's a it's a joy to have it so you have fun mm -hmm. yes sir yes sir <laughs> all right i want to show him the fan show him the fan uh-huh fan him out look at that that's something big old fan there. isn't it that's a big fan there pop your beard out there yeah look here look at that thing big old beard big old fan i see ya danielle killed her first turkey ever Yep. Indiana. It's a good bird. About 20 pounds. Got 10 inch beard, about an inch and quarter spurs. Good bird. I want to thank Joseph for bringing his daughter up. Yeah, appreciate you, man, very much. I want to thank Danielle for being a great shot, making <laughs> my job easy. <laughs> Look at that pretty face she's got on her. She says now she's going to be a bird killer. I see so. it. Following in the footsteps. <laughs> Maybe we'll be back with some more action later on this year. Glad to see you guys come yep. up. Appreciate it very much, Aaron. Congratulations, Danielle. You got anything to say to the camera? Thank you. <laughs> All right. This program that Jeremy got his NWTF chapter in Switzerland County involved with, the Hope for Warriors, is a really interesting not for profit program. They provide not only social and outdoor activities for servicemen and women uh, that have served in our armed forces, but they look at the holistic approach to the family, and they provide services uh, for the family members. This particular uh, offering that they had included a hunt for one of the uh, a serviceman or servicewoman's uh, children, and what a great time our hunter has had uh, Danielle and her father uh, had the chance to harvest a really nice long beard. Thanks goes not only to the Hope for Warriors program, but for the NWTF and the Switzerland County chapter of the NWTF. Good job, Jeremy, 
making sure that this unique program came to Indiana and that Indiana Outdoor Ventures was there to cover it on film and share it with our viewers. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with some muzzleloading action. Stay tuned. The tools may have changed, but the hunt still remains. Native Crossbows offers you exciting new hunting crossbow designs made in the USA by hunters for hunters. With its compact, low profile design, delivering breathtaking accuracy at 320 and 340 feet per second speeds, these crossbows are further enhanced with auto engaging safety and anti dry fire features. You've really not experienced a crossbow until you've shot a native crossbow. Looking for adventure? Moringo Cave has it all. Explore the underground wonders of Moringo Cave with our two easy walking tours or go on an adventurous cave exploring trip with hard hats and lots of mud. Kids will love discovering gemstones at the Cave Springs Mining Flume. This U.S. National Natural Landmark has been open to the public since 1883 and provides breathtaking views of underground cave formations. Visit us online at MoringoCave.com and plan your visit today. Follow Indiana Outdoor Adventures online with Facebook, Twitter, and our website. Stay up to date with our exciting adventures as we're out in the field filming and meeting new people. From news updates and announcements to Twitter posts by co-host Troy McCormick. Why wait until the next season of shows when you can follow us as we're filming them? Join us online to get the most current news on Indiana Outdoor Adventures. The Old Goat Trading Post in Bloomingdale, Indiana offers not only traditional fur hides, hats, and mountain man-like apparel, but beautifully crafted spirit hides. Artistically sculpted from elk, moose, deer, and buffalo hides, they are the perfect wall hanging for your home or vacation cabin. The shaved hair sculpture and original painted scenes combine to create a natural canvas and work of art. Visit www.oldgoattrading.com for more information. Life Essentials in Brookston, Indiana provides the products you need to become more independent. Products like our journeyman wheelchair provide all-terrain access for the hunter and all-around outdoorsman. Every year, thousands of people are born with or acquire disabilities. Whether your special needs are for residential, commercial, agricultural, or just enjoying the outdoors once again, we customize our lifts and mobility products to fit your needs. We're raising you to new heights. Call today and we'll work with you to take back your life. Blastmasters of Indianapolis, Indiana is your source for custom stone sandblasting. We etch limestone markers for gardens and home landscaping projects to pet memorial stones and address markers. We offer brick pavers for fundraising projects and large monument stones for memorials and parks. Contact us today for your custom sandblasted Indiana limestone markers and memorial projects. Welcome back to Indiana Outdoor Adventures. We're going to take a look at a late season muzzleloading hunt that was submitted by one of our viewers. Now it's a husband and wife team and the wife is her turn. She's up for her chance at a buck. Let's check in with them and see how they're doing. Okay, second day of late muzzleloader season. I'm in the stand with my wife, Dana Leach, and it's about 30 degrees out here. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Where were we? Uh, big gun hunted and uh, bow hunted. We've seen a couple of nice bucks in here. We're hoping that uh, one of them two comes by tonight. We can get a shot and knock him down. So uh, wish us luck. Like I said, it's muzzleloader season. Second day, late muzzleloader season, December 10th, 11th, something like that. Saturday afternoon. So. We're going to see what happens here. Wish us luck. Well, their luck was definitely holding because just a little while after they'd been in the stand, this nice eight pointer came out. The problem was he was a little bit unsure. He hopped the fence and ran right back into the woods, leaving uh, Ricky and Dana wondering what happened. Fortunately, though, their luck came back because they heard some noises behind them uh, back in the woods and now off to the right they heard and saw movement. Did 
Der Herr Hering. Oh mein Gott. Oh mein Gott. Oh mein Gott. Oh. Oh. Oh mein Gott. Oh mein Gott. Oh mein Gott. Oh. Oh. Daddy. Big, nice ape. Big white. Oh. Oh mein Gott. Oh. Oh my heart. Second day of late muzzleloader. Finally come out of there and we got him. Gosh. Man, are you okay? You got it on me? <laughs> okay, we were sitting here. I could see him out of the corner of my eye. I couldn't tell if it was a buck or nothing. I could just see a deer on my peripheral vision. And I finally took a look around and all I seen was horns. Woo! <laughs> it's awesome! <laughs> Oh, I gotta call Amberly. Yeah, you better call him. Can we get to go watch the game? Can we just go watch the game. Oh, thank better, you, Lord. You better uh, call Timmy too, because he uh, you better call Timmy. Turn it off. Oh, he turns in. There he lays, right there. <sighs> Big eight, boy, ain't he pretty? <sighs> All right, we'll turn this off and we'll go up there and look at him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is this hunter excited about her buck or what? Let's uh, climb down the stand and go see what she actually shot. Okay, there's her deer stand. It's a double man stand, that's where we were sitting at. And if you look right over there, and you zoom in up on that hill, what do you see but a big white horn buck laying there that my wife just killed. Ain't he a dandy? We're gonna walk up there, I'll help her get down and We'll walk, uh, we'll walk up there and see what we've got. You might not. Yep, go on. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Big white rack, go on. That heavy rock. Oh, you shot him perfect. Looks like a what a nine point. Yeah, I thought he was a little wider than that, but he's still nice and white. Pretty. Pretty Yep. Hard not to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you put the you put the hammer on him now. He wasn't going nowhere. Yeah, he's pretty. Yes, sir. You busted him. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's a girl. <laughs> yes. All right. <coughs> okay, we're gonna turn this off and get a little gutting done and get him in the truck. Good job, honey. All right. Until you've experienced the, the thrill of harvesting a big game animal, 
it's hard to truly appreciate the, the adrenaline rush and the excitement. But watching this hunter, oh my gosh, she kind of gives you a good feel for the excitement uh, and how proud you can become in making that harvest count. Well, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you next time right here on Indiana Outdoor Adventures.